So today I am going yarn shopping. I have a few projects in my brain that I want to make, but I need some yarn for them. I will probably end up buying a lot of random things that aren't yarn. So yes, I'm very excited. Let's go. So Spotlight is a really big store. It has a homeware section, it has a really large fabric section, it has pretty much every kind of arts and crafts supply you would ever need. It even has like a baking section and a party section. The sections are kind of just endless. So it is very easy to get distracted and to just add a whole lot of random stuff to your basket that you didn't come for and you don't need. So in order to try and avoid that, I say try because this wasn't actually successful in the end. In order to attempt to save my wallet, I headed straight to the back, straight to the yarn section. I always I love yarn sections. I always love going to yarn stores and just seeing all the yarn set out on the shelves. It makes me feel so happy. It just always like feels really inspiring. Like I feel just super inspired to do so many different kinds of projects when I'm in a yarn section. But what was extra exciting when I arrived in the yarn section at Spotlight is they were having a sale. I didn't know that. I hadn't planned to go because of the sale. I just planned to go because I needed some yarn. And I was like, Yes, yes, we hit the jackpot. That was very good timing on my part, even though I didn't plan it at all. So I spent a while just wandering around the yarn section, just having a look. I always find it really fun to look at like all the different like crazy yarns. You know, those ones that are like super fluffy or they just have like really weird textures. And I'm like, how? How do you work with this? How do you make something out of this? Anyway, eventually I stopped getting distracted. I was like, right, I'm here. I have a plan. I have projects I need to get my yarn for. Let's actually pick out the yarn I actually need. So I'm gonna do a little yarn haul now. I'm gonna show you all the yarn I got and why I got it. And then after that, I'll go back to the Spotlight Adventure, show you the interesting things I saw around the store and the other things I accidentally bought. But yarn first. So as you can see, I got a lot of yarn. So the first thing on my list I wanted to get was, you may remember this guy. This is a reversible octopus I made with some super soft yarn I got at Spotlight and when I was making it I was like I really just want to make a jumper out of this. This would be like the best most comfortable jumper ever to wear and it would be so fun to make. So naturally I got the supplies for that. Now I actually haven't found a jumper pattern or planned out how I'm going to do this so maybe it would have been smart to do that beforehand but I didn't. I just picked out some different colours. I'm thinking like I want pastel stripey vibes so I got these colours. I also got white if I can ever find it. So I got these colours and I just thought they'd look really cute in some kind of like stripey pattern on a jumper and it would be really soft and really fun to make. I got a couple balls of each of them. Hopefully that will be enough to make a jumper otherwise I'll be back to spotlight. Next on the list so I have been seeing for ages every time I go on Instagram I see people making these like adorable little baskets out of this thing called t-shirt yarn. I'm still really confused what t-shirt yarn is. What it seems to be is like cut up t-shirts turned into yarn. I could be completely wrong so don't take my word for it but I bought some. I too want to make a cute little bass and also lots of people make like really cute bags with them. I really want to crochet a bag. I don't know if I'll use it making this one. I don't know if I'll even like crocheting with t-shirt yarn. Never done it before. Oh no! I've just seen on here it says hook size 15 millimeter hook. I don't have a 15 millimeter hook. I'm gonna have to buy one. Oh that's annoying. Okay next thing I bought was um this was something I didn't plan on buying but I saw it and I just fell in love with it. This is like the most beautiful yarn I've ever seen. It feels gorgeous. It looks gorgeous. Wouldn't this make the best jumper? Is what I was thinking when I bought a few rolls of it. When I got home, I realized I don't think this is going to be enough to make a jumper. So I might have to make a beanie or a scarf or something. But it will still be like really, really cute and really fun to wear. Love this color. Love this feel. So I'm really excited to make this. This needle hook size is also 15 millimeters. What was I thinking? Why didn't I check any of this while I was at the store? Well, there's definitely a 15 millimeter crochet hook in my future. But I did actually get a crochet hook. So, oh my god, where did it go? So when I was crocheting my octopus, I was like, I would really like a six millimeter crochet hook to use this. Really would like that. I got one. So at least I can start on this one while I wait for the 15 millimeter crochet hook to arrive, which I'm gonna order online. So if I go back to Spotlight, I'll end up buying who knows what else. The final part of my yarn haul, Yes, there is more. Is so I've been seeing for ages people making jumpers inspired by based around this really beautiful Lyrica Matoshi jumper. I've mostly seen people knit it because the original jumper is knitted, but I was like, I can try and crochet it. I have no idea how I'll do that, but I'm gonna try. So I picked out a green and a blue I liked. There were a lot of colours to choose from. There were a lot of shades in green and blue, and I spent a while matching them, looking at which ones I thought would fit best, also which ones I would like to wear best because 
because I do plan on wearing this jumper. And yeah, ended up picking out these ones and then also got white for the clouds. No idea how I'm gonna do this because the actual jump has like grass. I'm not sure if it's grass or mountains to be honest. I think it's grass. And I just, I don't know how you crochet that. So I'm gonna have to do a lot of research and a lot of trial and error. I'm probably gonna make a video on it as well. So you can look forward to that if you like crocheting videos. Yeah, I got quite a number of these because a jumper requires a lot of yarn, a lot more than the purple yarn I bought, I'm pretty sure. That was all the yarn. Yay, we love yarn. The other yarn related thing I did buy in the yarn section was this. Now this was a this was an unplanned purchase, but I think this is gonna greatly improve my life. So what this is, is it's a crochet hook case. Every single day of my life, I lose my crochet hooks. Every time I'm looking for a specific crochet hook, I can't find it. So I got this crochet hook case and I can just put them all in and they'll be in the one spot and I'll be able to find them and it will be so happy. They had a few different designs, but obviously I settled on the purple one. So that was everything that I got from the yarn section and I really should have just picked up my baskets because I had multiple. I really should have just picked up my baskets, walked to the checkout and got out of them. <laughs> no, I thought I'll just have a little look around. I just just look around. No, that was never going to happen. I don't know why I thought I could just look around. I did do a lot of looking, but I also did a fair amount of purchasing too. Anyway, before I show the other random things I bought, I need to tell you a few things that I, I had some self restraint and didn't buy. So first of all, there were Squishmallows at Spotlight. I actually knew this because the last time I went to Spotlight, I saw Squishmallows, but it's always so exciting to see them. I love seeing Squishmallows in stores and their little smiling faces make me so happy. But yeah, can you believe it? I didn't actually buy Squishmallows. I have like 30 Squishmallows sitting on my bed and I didn't buy a single one at Spotlight. Mostly because all the ones I had weren't really ones that I'm looking for or want to add to my collection. So there was that. Okay, the second thing I need to tell you about was a Pooh Bear sewing machine. I don't know if I've mentioned this on my channel. I am obsessed with Winnie the Pooh at the moment. I've been watching all the movies and the TV show like over and over again. And I, like I watched it a lot as a kid and it is just... It is just so wholesome and all the characters are so funny and the art is just so beautiful and I just love Winnie the Pooh. Anyway, the point of me telling you this is that I saw a Winnie the Pooh sewing machine. Like, the sewing machine had Winnie the Pooh pattern all over it. Like, I spent so long looking at it and being like, could I justify buying this? I really want to buy this. I really want to get back into sewing. Spoiler alert, I didn't buy it, but I haven't stopped thinking about it. Another aisle I got a bit lost in was the scrapbooking aisle. Oh my goodness, I love scrapbooking supplies. Like look how beautiful the aisle is. There's just so much nice paper. Oh my goodness. I don't even know what I do with all that paper but anytime I see scrapbooking paper I'm like I want to buy it. I want to buy it. I'm gonna make a scrapbook. However I actually have a whole box of like scrapbooking supplies. It's not really like scrapbooking supplies. It's mostly stuff like old wrapping paper and old ribbons and just like random bits of packaging I thought were cute that I was like I could put that in a scrapbook. But um have I made any of that into a scrapbook? Yes. Yes I am actually have however not for a few years so I have this rule with myself I'm not allowed to buy any scrapbooking supplies until the box is empty which means there were no scrapbooking supplies for me and the box will probably never be empty so no scrapbooking supplies for me ever so up until this point I had actually done pretty well I had looked around at all those things I'd avoided buying squish bellows poo bear sewing machines I was doing pretty good but then I walked into the fabric section and here's where everything changed they were having a sale not just any sale they were having 40% off licensed fabric so licensed fabric is any like copyrighted character kind of things that have given permission to Spotlight to make materials of. One of those characters being Winnie the Pooh. They had the cutest Winnie the Pooh fabric and suddenly my brain was like a buzz. I'm like, I'm gonna make some clothes. I'm gonna make some Winnie the Pooh clothes. I'll make like, a really cute Winnie the Pooh dress. Maybe I'll make like myself a Winnie the Pooh shirt. Oh, this would be so cute. There'll be so many materials. I can go like look at patterns now. My mind was just buzzing and I did buy some Winnie the Pooh stuff. I actually, I actually don't regret it. I am 300% excited about these projects I'm gonna work on. So let me show you the things I got. Winnie the Pooh fabric number one. I thought this color is like a color that I would definitely wear. So we've got Winnie the Pooh and Piglet in the rain. All these little images of Pooh and Piglet are so adorable and I was just thinking about how great they would be on a dress. So I got the fabric and then I was like, I'm gonna do this the right way. I'm gonna go get a pattern. So at Spotlight, I'm not sure if other stores work like this, but basically they have like a big, oh my God, what did I just knock over? They have like a big table with all these like pattern books and you look through the pattern books, you look at like lots of photos of lots of dresses and they all have like a number at the top and the number corresponds to the pattern. And once you've found one or multiple that you like, you write down the pattern number or 
take a photo of the pattern number and then you go over to these like huge filing cabinet things or they're like filing drawers and you flip through all the patterns till you get to your number and then you hope that they have the pattern in your size and then you have your pattern which you can go up to the counter and buy. So I was looking through the pattern books, I looked through multiple, I was looking through for ages and I fell in love with this dress. I was like this dress in this Winnie the Pooh fabric, this is happening, I am sewing a dress. Now let me tell you I haven't sewn a dress since I was like in year 10 at school so a while ago now but like I was like let's do this I want to get back to sewing let's make a dress I know when I'll actually start this because I kind of have to refresh my brain on how to actually sew maybe buy a Winnie the Pooh sewing machine to do this the right way let me know also if you're interested in seeing, in seeing a video of me making this dress I don't know if that would interest anyone this wasn't the only Winnie the Pooh fabric I got I I I I I was in love with this one as well it's got all the characters well not all the characters it's got Pooh, Piglet, Eeyore and Tigger and they're in the most adorable art style I was too in love with this fabric because it's just the most adorable art style and it was 40% off which you buy fabric like per meter so it comes up like these big rolls and then you go up to the counter and they have like a cutting table and they cut it out for you and the savings really do add up when you're buying multiple meters of these things okay so the final thing I bought this was an impulse buy I shouldn't have bought this but it's too late it's probably not too late I could probably return it but I'm not going to so you may have seen like people making like little miniature houses little dolls houses on TikTok or wherever you like to spend your time but I see these all the time and they look so cute and they just have such like Sylvanian families vibes and I've always wanted to do one and they just had a whole lot of these just sitting on a shelf beautifully and I was like that looks like a lot of fun I want to buy that I really want to buy that and this one well it's called Simon's Coffee but basically it's a little cafe and I'm like I'm gonna like customize it to make it Brewster's Cafe from Animal Crossing if they're not gonna put it in the game I guess I'll just have to make one myself yeah I might do this for a video as well this is just like a season trailer of everything that's coming up on my channel anyway that is all the things I got from spotlight I had a very good time I'm very excited to get going on all these projects I honestly I don't know what to start first I need to buy that 15 millimeter hook that's what I need to do well thank you so much for watching my haul and hearing me talk all about my spotlight adventure I will see you again very soon bye